Alok is quoting from John. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. Now he says, Acharya Ji Pranam, Jesus is saying that to know the Father, one has to know Jesus first. What does that really mean? Alok, that means Guru Gobind do khade kake lago pao Balihari Guru apne Govindiyo milaye says Kabir that if God and the Guru are both standing, whom do I salute first? And he answers in the next line saying that I salute my Guru who took me to God. At another place, Kabir says, Hari Ruthe Guru Thor Hai, Hari Ruthe Guru Thor Hai, Guru Ruthe Nahi Thor. He says, if God gets annoyed of me, if God leaves me, then I can go and find refuge in the Guru. The Guru will again establish me in God. The Guru will reconnect me to God. But if I have lost the Guru itself, then there is no possibility of any connection with God. Nobody reaches the Father except through me. I am the way, the truth and the life. Jesus sometimes says, I am the son of. At other places he says, me and my father are one. In one sense, God himself takes the shape of a Jesus. to guide people to himself. That is exactly what Jesus is saying. Nobody goes to God except through me. Read it as nobody goes to God except through the manifested form of God. Jesus is the manifested form of God. Nobody goes, goes to God except through God. No path leads to God except the path of God himself. 
Nothing outside of God can lead to God because nothing outside of God really exists. So if you are to be led to God, that can happen only through God. If you are to be led to the invisible God, then it must happen through the visible God. A Jesus, a Guru is the visible God. If you are to be led to the formless God, it must happen through a form that God has taken. Jesus is that form. Nobody goes to the Father but through me. I am the way, the truth and the life. I here refers both to the formless and the form God. If you abide in the formless, then take I as the invisible God. And if you are someone who abides in the senses and the material, then take I as the visible form of God.